Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here, and today it's just a little simple project, but I'm gonna put on a steering wheel cover and see if I like it better than just the factory feel. I mean, my factory one's in pretty good shape. It's in a lot better shape than my Charger, even though this is an older vehicle with more miles, but I thought I would try to freshen up the interior a little bit. I kind of like the blue and uh, so we'll see what I think the key since this one has a pattern is obviously getting it as straight as you can because once it's on it's probably virtually impossible to straighten it up so you're supposed to start from the top and work your way down and everything I've ever read about these is it's a quite a challenge to get it over the bottom but once it's over you know it's not going to move anywhere and you can heat them up if you need to which in Texas is normally not needed although we're having unseasonably cold weather. It's in the 50s or 60s today. You see I've gotten about 75% of it on and now it's really creating some resistance. I have a feeling it's probably just going to pop on or totally pop off. <laughs> And there we go. So it really wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be getting it on there at the end. So now it's just a matter of it looks like it's just barely off center. So I'm going to see if I can. Let me get this to lock and then kind of wrestle it around a little bit. looking a little bit straighter now of course I've got the wheel locked so I can't really see it but feels like it's fairly secure although it, obviously it can move a little bit so I'll drive it around for a few days and see you know if I get where I'm really liking the feel of this and uh, you know if, if I'm feeling like the color is looking good in here but it, it's got a pretty good feel to it. Ironically, <laughs> the package says, warning, this contains chemicals that are known to cause cancer and to wash your hands anytime you touch it. So I thought that was a bit ironic since it's something that you're going to basically have your hands on all the time. So I guess wear gloves when you're driving. I don't know. Anyway. Um... So, like I said, I'll drive this around for several days and see what I think, and then I'll let you know.